It's it is kind of exciting, and and uh, he asked the question, so why didn't you give up? Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't that smart. You know? <laughs> and your students say, well, he always says never give up and study hard. Yeah. Well, you know, so, it, it's really interesting, but it just felt right to me. Yeah. And... Um, the wonderful professor that helped me mm -hmm. later became my good friend. I have to admit, the day I won the local science fair and my picture was on the front page of the paper, he called me up and said, wait a minute, you cheated, that won't work. Oh, he thought and you I would. told him a day, he thought I was spoofing. Oops. But it did work, and then when he saw that it worked, he helped me figure out why the book was wrong and uh, became a very, oh. very dear friend. But you know, um, I have a, a video clip of the lawnmower engine. It's not actually the one that I use for the science fair, okay. but it's one just like it. Okay. And I'm going to show you a picture of, of the engine, but I have to say the original, original, original uh -huh. uh, happened to get put into a go-kart by my little brother, and he sold the go-kart. And uh, we tracked it to the landfill years later. But here's a picture of it. This is the actual engine that ran the very, very, very first time. Now I'd like to show you one exactly the same, except we couldn't find any green paint. But it's the same Was engine. Was he listening, your little brother, right now? <clears throat> oh, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> He's bigger than me. <laughs> okay. Anyway. I want to show you a little video clip of the engine running on hydrogen, okay. and I want you to notice how when you turn the valve up and turn it down, I'm starting it with the motor. The motor turns on with electricity, it starts going around, then I open the valve, and you can hear it when, when the hydrogen starts burning. Then I turn off the motor, and then I rev it, just like I can't do his sound effects, so I'll just show you. <laughs> okay. okay, here we go. So, pretty good spot yeah. and power there, isn't and it, it works. It's it's water being made. <laughs> I love so that neat. idea. We're making water and driving. Yeah, and there's a lot of fun things now. I want to kind of tell you a little bit about those nasty backfires. You know, I was talking about how it popped and it banged, and I almost got kicked out of the chem lab because of the explosions trying to get this thing working. Well, I, I did a little video to show you why there are backfires. This is a, a model of a cut open engine. So take a look at this. Okay, guys, if we want to understand these backfires, we need to understand an automobile engine. And this is kind of a cutaway showing us the parts. We have a crankshaft. This is hooked up to your, your wheels and it's how it powers the car. And a piston. Now this piston goes up and down, but when it goes down, it turns the crankshaft. So we bring fuel and air in through this chamber and there's a little valve that opens and closes to let it come in so we can draw it in. Then we compress it, and then there's an exhaust valve that opens when we want to push the exhaust out for another cycle. So here's what happens. As we're compressing this, and we're getting ready to fire the spark, if, if that valve isn't completely closed, the fire won't only push the piston down, it'll also go out through the valve, and it'll explode outside the engine, and that's where you get the bang. Now, I don't think it would be appropriate for true science livers to go away without experiencing the bang. That's true, they may experience the bang. So I have a bang clip. A bang clip? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was real, wasn't it? That was real. Boy, I remember that. Let's, let's do that one more time, the bang clip. Look at your face carefully. You notice how I'm standing yeah, back I like this? That. Okay. It's loud. I, I just sat, we're, we're getting short on time, but I have to just tell you one little story. Okay. 
Uh, later we got this into Model A, later it got into various cars, vehicles, mm -hmm. and finally we got into a bus. And I'd like to just show you a picture of this. This is the Riverside Hydrogen Bus. It's a bus which we built for uh, the California Air Resources Board, and they put it in their bus system in Riverside, California. I want to show you a schematic of what's inside the bus. Take a look at this. So this is it. We've got the engine. we got the hydrogen storage tanks. There's a lot of detail we can go through on that. But right now, I want to just tell you about one experience with this bus. In science, you, you scientists and engineers know about that guy named Murphy. And Murphy has a law. It's called Murphy's Law. Yeah. And it says, if anything can go wrong, it will. And not only will it, it will do it at absolutely the worst time possible. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we took the bus to California. We had a big press conference. Everybody came to see it. And then we loaded up all the reporters in the bus and took it on a drive. Now, we eventually learned how to get rid of the backfire by using water induction. And water induction would mean we'd spray these droplets of water into the engine with the hydrogen, and it would control the combustion so that it wouldn't backfire. That day, we condense the water out of the exhaust, but we have a little reservoir mm -hmm. to run into and get some condensed. That day, our maintenance guys drained the water out of the water tank. Oh dear. And so here I am with the press. Okay, so we're gonna take this hydrogen car oh. on a trip down the freeway, and they're filming the TV guys, I'm on the news, the reporters are writing. We're going down the road, all of a sudden, bam! It scared them to death. Thought it was blown up, huh? And so we started up again. Bam! <laughs> That's kind of sad. So then we slowed down. We drove slow so that the water could build up and it was fine. Uh, oh, those backfires. You know, uh, doing something new and especially doing something important is always challenging. Yes. I guess that's why I like it. I like it. If it was possible to run a car on hydrogen, everybody would have done it. Since it was impossible, only someone that wasn't smart enough to know it was impossible could do it. And there I was.